we could say when the truth speaks, God speaks. And when the truth commands, God commands. When the truth promises, God promises. Because God is truth. Truth means the real state of affair. It's the way things really are. Truth is not what the majority of people perceive something to be. Truth is not what we want something to be. Truth is whatever God says something is. In one word, truth is reality. Truth is the way things really are. Give us some men who know the truth. All that matters is what God says something is, that is what it is. Sin is what God says it is, that is the truth. Salvation is what God says it is, that is the truth. Heaven and hell is what God says that it is. And so truth is reality. Truth is the way things really are. Sanctify them in the truth, your word is truth. And so in this high priestly prayer, there is a, a vein of gold that runs through this shaft. There is truth. And Jesus prays this in a world that is filled with skepticism toward any notion of the truth. Pilate has scoffed at the very idea of truth. Jesus has said, I have come into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. And Pilate said to him, what is truth? In a very dismissive way. And yet Jesus held firmly to the conviction that there is truth. Give us some men who know the truth. The Bible is authoritative. It doesn't just sit there. It's not just merely interesting. Truth makes demands upon us. Truth is not a mere suggestion. It's not an option that is being presented to us. Truth is commanding. Truth is demanding. Truth is sovereign. Truth has the right to rule our lives. God has not stuttered. God has not muttered. God has not edited his own word. God has spoken, the grass withers, the flower fades away, but the Word of our God abides forever. And the Word of God is true. Let God be found true, though every man be found a liar. And the life and destiny of every one of us is determined by our relationship to the truth. You cannot be saved apart from the truth. You will not grow one inch beyond your intake of the Word of God. Give us some men who know the truth. Truth is divine. In other words, it comes down from above. Truth does not originate in this world. The truth does not arise out of culture. The truth does not find its origin in man. God is the author of all truth. God is the source of truth. God is the determiner of truth. He is the arbitrator of truth, and He is the judge of truth. There's not one drop of truth outside of Christ as it relates to matters of our salvation and sanctification. You see, truth is Trinitarian. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all three identified as the truth. Give us some men who know the truth. What a firm foundation we have for our faith. What a strong place we have to stand upon the Word of God. It is never shaking and never moving beneath us. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one stroke of a letter of the law to fail. God never changes and neither does His truth. Truth is fixed. Truth is established. Truth is immutable. It is eternal. Your word I have established above your throne. It endures forever. The grass withers, the flower fades away, but the word of our God abides forever. Forever is a long time, my friend. And forever the word of God is settled in heaven. It is transgenerational. What was true for your grandparents is true today, will be true for your grandchildren. Truth never changes. MacArthur says, you do not take the Word of God, twist the Word of God, alter the Word of God, change the Word of God, embellish the Word of God, diminish the Word of God. You do not change the Word because you think the culture would like it to be said another way. Listen, we are simply the messengers. We are not the editors of the Word of God. Because truth is immutable, 
It's always up to date. Preach the Bible because it's more up to date than tomorrow's newspaper. The Bible is the most relevant book that has ever been written. This book is alive. And this book is never outdated. This book has a permanent shelf life and it always speaks to the issues of every generation on every continent in every time. In fact, the Bible speaks to every single person who is alive on the earth, whether they hear it or not. Give us some men who know the truth. Truth is powerful. Truth convicts. Truth saves. Truth judges. Truth damns. Truth sanctifies. Truth conforms. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That's how powerful truth is. None of us can be liberated from the tyranny of sin and the bondage of Satan apart from the truth having its ministry in our lives. Jesus refers to the truth. Sanctify them in the truth. Not a truth, but the truth. In other words, truth is absolute. Truth is not relative. There's not a truth for you and then a truth for someone else, and we all get to have our own truth. No, there is only one truth, and that truth is absolute for everyone in the universe. Francis Schaeffer wrote years ago, Christianity is not a series of truths, plural, but rather truth spelled out with a capital T. Because truth is woven together like a beautiful tapestry. And when you pull one thread, it, it crinkles in another place because of the tightness with which it is it holds together. In other words, you tell me what you believe about one doctrine, and I will automatically tell you what you believe about 20 other doctrines. Your word is truth singular. It is not plural. It speaks with one voice. Truth never contradicts itself. It represents one diagnosis of the human dilemma from cover to cover. Cover. It presents one way of salvation. It presents one Christian worldview. It presents one standard of holiness. It presents one pattern for the family. Truth is singular. It all hangs together. Give us some men who know the truth. And whatever contradicts biblical truth is false and a lie. Truth is incompatible with error. And truth is true regardless of how it speaks to a person's heart. Truth is not a feeling that fluctuates. Truth is a fact that is verified. Truth is found in specific words that are found in the Word of God and words that have specific meaning. Truth is black and white. Truth is concrete. Truth is perfect. It is complete. It is pure. Truth is exclusive, never inclusive. A truth is discriminating. It is very discriminating, and it excludes all that is untrue. Truth is never both and. Truth is always either or. Give us some men who know the truth. Truth never stutters or mumbles. Truth always is outspoken, and truth always tells it like it is. Truth is very explicit. Truth is very exact. Truth is determinative. Truth determines how you live. Truth determines where you will spend all eternity. Truth will have the last word in your life on the last day. Do you see how important the truth is to your soul? How important the truth is in your life? How important it is that there is this thing of the reality of truth? Any departure from the Scripture is a departure from God Himself. The Word of God is our spiritual growth food. The Word of God is that which God uses to stimulate our maturity in Christ's likeness and growth in grace. This is the reign of truth. Let the Word of Christ richly dwell within you. Give us some men who know the truth. Yeah. 
and who will declare the truth and who will stand with Athanasius and Polycarp and Calvin and Luther and Whitfield and Edwards and who will declare from the housetops that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation.